Good afternoon from Disney Springs. We're here today because we've been trying to do this at least once a week, going yeah. out, getting something to eat. Also today, uh, Uniqlo is having a Lunar New Year celebration. Yeah, so we're gonna go check it out. They're gonna have like drumming and calligraphy artists and some other cool stuff. Yeah. Giant prize wheel. Oh yeah, plus we just really love Uniqlo. Like they have really, your shirt, yeah. Yeah, that's a Uniqlo I shirt. I should've worn my Uniqlo shirt. Oh no, do you know who's wearing their Uniqlo stuff? Baby boy Jackson is wearing a Uniqlo <laughs> shirt. He's got a whole like Winnie the Pooh theme going on today. Oh yeah. He has his little milk snob. This is actually a cover up, but we're using it as a blanket. And then he has his little Winnie the Pooh shirt on. He is ready to go. Look at that. There it is. Yeah, that little cute babe. Hello. <laughs> Just passing by the bus stop area and there's the Mike and Sully bus as well as the Daisy bus. I like that they started adding the characters to the buses. This Mike and Sully one's fun. So we're headed towards Uniqlo, but one thing that I noticed was, what, what's this? Why are there tables and umbrellas up there? You can't get up there. Nobody can get up there. Can they? Are you sure? Is look, that the DVC lounge? There's lights up there. Oh, I think that might be the DVC lounge that's up there. It's like the entrance is over by Melissa, which is on the other side of Anthropology over here. Well, but Anthropology has a second floor. Yeah, that's what that's what this is over here. But I think that this is something different. I think that might be the DVC lounge. There's a guy just playing guitar over here. Here we are, happy Lunar New Year inside of Uniqlo. Okay, let's see what they've got going on here. They've got a free gift with purchase if you spend $99 or more. Oh, you get travel packing cubes. Those are always good to have. Yeah. Ooh, the Tyco drumming performance. And then calligraphy event, the lucky wheel. And I don't know what this lucky Kuju play is. Kuji? I, I don't know. We'll Sounds have to ask them, yeah. So these are the packing cubes that you get. They're very nice. Oh, here's the giant wheel that you spin and you get a, you get a prize. Let's see if somebody's gonna pull it here. Oh, look at that. Oh. This is oh, the prize like wheel. Do you want to do it? Yeah. All right, Jen. Oh, do you got to go down, but you have to go up first and then down. Wheel of fortune. Price is right. Oh, price is right. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, Japanese candy. Japanese candy. That's still pretty good. There you go. Thank you. Upstairs to the left. All right, I got to do it. You ready? Yeah. Do a big one. All the way down to the ground. <laughs> it's the longest spin of the day. <laughs> Oh, 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 candy. Japanese That's candy. not bad, it's not bad. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. So much. Upstairs to the left, you can get it. <laughs> they have this whole section over here. 2020 is the year of the mouse. So join us in celebrating Disney's Mickey and Minnie and all the mice. So we gotta find, these are all the different, oh, look at this like mini one here. This one's fun. Today is a good day to have fun with good friends. Minnie is always friendly and sweet to everyone she meets, Minnie Mouse. Oh yeah. These are fun. Look at the Cinderella one. Yeah. Oh, I also like that they have just like plain old Mickey Mouse shirts. And these are pretty darn inexpensive too, $14.90, but they do go on sale occasionally for just like $9. Oh, look at this one. Happiness is still homemade, home sweet home. Oh, that's cute. So these are the fortune t-shirts. So yeah. do you remember when we went to Japan and we filled out, we went and we got the sticks with our fortune? Yeah. These are like similar to what those said. Yeah. The like fortune sticks. So this is kind of cool. I'm gonna link that video so you guys can see what our fortunes were when we were in Japan. But um, these, you can pick your fortune. So this is even better. <laughs> I like this one too, this welcome home one. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this one. It's a Dumbo, let your dreams soar. Oh yeah. Oh, and it's a These are like my favorite kinds of shirts. You always make me happy, you're the best. Well, they're just really simple. Yeah. Like really cute. Fun for everyone. Just a little pocket tee.
doing some calligraphy and I'm having her do Jackson. Ooh, this is awesome. Wow, there it is. There's Jackson. I cannot wait until Jackson is big enough to wear these sort of things. What does it say on the back? Is it is it just like oh it says Mickey and Minnie forever? Like very hard to see. Yeah, we're gonna go up and look at him. We are. And did you show them Jackson? No. He's like party pooped. He, he has pooped out. Look at that little tired guy. Sleep. Yeah. He's a, the Lunar New Year was too much for him. You've heard of Baby Yoda, but have you heard of... I'm too old for this stuff, Yoda. <laughs> this is them after they get off Splash Mountain and they say, we'd better go home. I love it. That's actually really fun. Show them this one. So this is like 90s, like cool Mickey. Those little like baggy overalls. But he needs to have one off. Oh yeah. You know how you would just wear your one strap? Or he needs to be wearing them backwards. Oh yeah, that'd be even cooler. Jen, I found the perfect shirt for you. It's your boy. Yeah. I'm a Jar Jar stan. And I love this style, it looks really cool. Look at that tongue. I know, I was just like, whoa, look at that tongue. <laughs> It might not actually be Jar Jar. It might just be another, what are they called? Dungans? Yeah. Dungans? A Dungan. Yeah. Oh, look. There's Boba Fett. Oh, yeah. I like His that backpack it's... has jets. Oh, yeah. He's Boba the Fett. He's Boba the Fett. Bounty hunts for Java Hunt. To finance his vet. I'm just going to go ahead and walk up to the board and you just grab anyone oh, off the board. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, so earlier we were telling you guys about how we did the, the fortune when we were in Japan and you like shake the stick out of the canister and then you put your fortune if it was bad luck you give it away and you put it on the on the rack but here you just pick one from the rack so which one should i pick well that's up to you i can't tell you which one to pick are you gonna do your own well yeah okay. i'm gonna pick this one let's see i hope it's a good one i i feel like uniqlo wouldn't give you a bad one get a free candy oh <laughs> that was a good one now it's my turn you gotta pick the underdog right See, I'm, I'm going with this one down here. He seems like he's lonely on the bottom. I picked the bottom one too. I know, that's because, I don't know, we're the same. <laughs> All right, let's see. Big money, no whammies. You've won an eco-friendly bag. Whoa. Oh, all right. Look at you. Nice work. I want a special bag. <laughs> Here's the candy that we got. This is the Japanese candy. Hopefully it doesn't taste like fish. It, they it look shouldn't. like sushi on the packaging. We'll yeah. try one. Tell me what it tastes like. What does it taste like? I'm not really sure. Like, like you know how LaCroix is like a hint of lemon? Yeah. That's what this tastes like. Oh, I want to try one. Like maybe, is, is lychee? Lychee's That's not like lemony. Sweet. No, it's really sweet. You'll have to try one. Yeah. Let me know. Okay. Slightly lemon. Over in the Lego store, they've got Lego versions of Anna, Olaf, and Elsa from Frozen 2. Over at Love Pop, they have the Baby Yoda pop-up cards. On the little Ewoks, too. This is fun, it says, for you. For dinner tonight, we're heading into Terralina, Crafted Italian. Looks good, we were here for the media preview of it, but after looking at the menu, I think that today is going to be delish. I'm interested in these crispy eggplant fries. Meatballs sound good. They said that the pizza of the week was pepperoni sausage and mushrooms i also uh somebody's we asked them what their favorite thing on the menu was and they said so everybody's gonna tell you the gnocchi but what's really good is the chicken parmesan and i think that's what i'm gonna get because it sounds so good well they just have a good burger too maybe i'll get a burger i think i'm just gonna get the okay i think i'm gonna get the eggplant parmesan and then like a bunch of appetizers. So to start off, I got this. This is like a little mocktail. It is an orange blossom lemonade. So it's basically just like lemonade with orange blossom honey. Sounds good. They brought us out some bread and then it comes with some pickled vegetables too. And a little bit of marinara, just in case we want to dip in some marinara. Traditional Italian bread that you have to rip apart. All right, so our appetizers came out and we got some mozzarella stuffed rice balls. They look really good. I'll show you the inside when we break one open. We got some stuffed fried olives. Those also look really good. And some eggplant fries with some aioli and some marinara. 
these came with marinara as well, but they look so good. And then we had a little outfit change with Jackson. He had a <laughs> he had a bit of an issue, but now he's happy. Look at that happy boy. <laughs> that's the face of happiness. <laughs> so that's the inside of the mozzarella stuffed rice ball, and it looks delicious. And it has like some really delicious shaved parmesan on top, and some herbs on the inside. And uh, I can't wait to try it. So here's what I got. This is the chicken parmesan. Wow, this looks awesome. Love me some nice burnt cheese. Mmm. And then Jen got the gnocchi pork ragu. Wow, that looks so delicious. Oh, ah. And then Jackson's chilling over here, looking up at something. Maybe the lights up there. I wanted to show you guys the dessert menu. This looks so good. I'm gonna get this chocolate paradiso because, yeah, sounds delicious. This is what we got. We got the paradiso chocolate cake, and this is chocolate layer cake, chocolate ganache, and toffee crunch. And then they're like, you gotta be a little bit healthy, throw in five pieces of fruit. Yeah, it's pretty darn big, like pretty big. Look at characters in flight over there. Also, Disney Springs is beautiful at night. Oh no, Jackson's sneezing on me. You okay, buddy? So Tim is walking Jackson around so he doesn't cry, but we were going past Raglan Road and we saw this bike and it has like a basket full of gold bedazzled things and I think little fairy houses. Like, is this where the fairies live? I think it is. Yeah. Sure it's not leprechauns? Oh, is it leprechauns? I think it might be leprechauns. Oh, okay. So we are here with some friends and they wanted to get a Sprinkles cupcake. And they said if the line was too long, we could just get it at the ATM. So if you guys didn't know, they have a cupcake ATM. We've never used it. We've never ordered a cupcake from it, but you can. I think it's kind of funny because I don't think it's actually like automated. Somebody just does it. There's just like a person in there that like pops the cupcake in this box here. <laughs> How do you like to be the cupcake operator, like the cupcake ATM operator? They all look really good though. Yeah. But we just had a crazy delicious dessert at Terralina. So we probably shouldn't get another dessert. <laughs> so in our last Disney Springs video, we talked about the fake backstory of Disney Springs and how it is like a city that has uh, a springs where they bottle the water and they make ice with the water. And all of that is just like the fake backstory of the springs. But here's another part of that. So the Springs Foundry established, can you see with the date of that? 1871. 1871. Well, was a good year. Wow. The last time that we were here, I showed you guys the ice works sign. One thing I didn't show you guys was that they have this ice machine back here. It's like a vintage looking ice machine. I don't know if this is an actual thing. Well, I never knew what this was. I yeah. just thought it was like, just like machinery that was back here for theming, but it's a, it's an ice machine? Yeah, this is what in, I guess maybe 1873. They 1871. Well, this one's 1873. Oh, that's when they started doing the that's ice. That's when they started doing okay. the ice. Uh, they, maybe this is a machine that they used in 1873 to make ice or this was just a pump to get the water out of the springs. Oh yeah, because we are right by the spring. It's right there. But what I was saying is I don't know if this is an actual piece of machinery or if this is just something that they like made. It looks like it used steam power at some point. You can see the little steam whistle on the outside here. Oh yeah. But I wonder if they could hook this up to pressurized air and like blow this whistle. It looks functional for sure. Do you want to see the grumpiest baby? He's so sleepy. He is. Where he's like, I'm not going to fall asleep. Just a little grumpy sleepy guy. Yeah. So it's Friday night and it's pretty happening down here and there's some live music. Pretty awesome. There's Tim and the baby. <laughs> so we are back home uh, after a fantastic evening out. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Super enjoyable. Mm -hmm. The uh, the like Lunar New Year festival that was going on at Uniqlo was actually very unique. I've never seen anything like that at a store. Yeah, it was really cool. I really, like, I think my favorite part was the calligraphy. Yeah. I thought that was really neat. I want to get that framed because I like that we have Jackson's name. So let me ask you guys this. Like, do, if anybody out there speaks Japanese or can read Japanese, does that say Jackson or does it say, like, Mr. Jack? Like, Jackson? I want to know. But I thought that was really a cool kind of just like a, a neat thing that we brought home. And it was free. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. I like that they had the prize wheel. I kept saying it was like Wheel of Fortune, but it's like the price is right. Yeah. I knew, like, I could picture it in my mind. Yeah. But I couldn't remember what game show it was from. <laughs> and then uh, I feel like Jackson did really good tonight. Yeah. He's been getting better in the car. 
he did really well on the way out there and then he didn't do as well on the way home right he was i think he was hungry we like timed his feeding wrong so let me ask you this what what did you think of your dinner at terralina oh the stuff at terralina was really good i was so surprised i was too so back when they first opened we went to like a media preview mm -hmm. and i'll link that video down below because we really liked the food then and we also really liked or I really liked the wine selection. They had like a really nice rosé. Everything was really good. And then we just never went back. Yeah. And I think it's because we have like our places that we really love that we know are like tried and true. Like we know right. if we go, we're going to love it. We're never going to have a bad meal. And I think we need to branch out. And I think so too. Yeah. Like we, we don't have to go to homecoming every time. We don't have to go to the boathouse every time. I want to, like it's delicious. I know I'm gonna love it. But we could. No, we totally could. But I really was like surprised by how good the food at Terralina was. Yeah. So I had the gnocchi with the pork ragu. It was so delicious. I actually just had a couple bites of it before we sat down to film this. I wasn't expecting the pork to be like shredded pork, but it was so good. That like, sounds good. Yeah, it was like shredded, almost like barbecue, but not barbecue. Like shredded pork in marinara sauce with or I don't know if it was marinara, but it's like a tomato sauce with the um, gnocchi. I didn't think that it was shredded. Well, that's why I kept telling you to try it. Yeah. I was like, have a bite of this, have a bite of this. And you're like, no. No. Because you only ate a gnocchi, right? Yeah, I had a gnocchi. Yeah. You didn't have the best part. Oh. Huh. It was so, I highly recommend trying that if you go. It was so delicious. And we went with some friends and they're vegan. So they were able to get some vegan options, which was really great. The eggplant fries were really good. Mm -hmm. They had a really nice flavor. They had like just enough seasoning. They were delicious. They came with marinara and an, aioli, and an aioli. They were both good. Yeah. The fried olives were good. I really enjoyed the fried olives. I was so surprised by it. I don't think that it's something that I could eat all the time. I feel like olives might be like an acquired taste. Because well, I, I think... didn't used to like olives. And oh, now no. I'm kind of like into them. Oh, uh, well, plus they're like brine too. Like, yeah. so they're kind of salty. So it isn't something that you probably should eat all the time. Right. But they're so good. And they were stuffed with like ricotta cheese, I mm -hmm. think. And they were fried so delicious. It doesn't sound like it would be good, but it doesn't they sound were. like it's good for you at all. No, but it really was delicious. And the mozzarella filled rice balls. Yeah. You didn't really love those. Those, I didn't taste any mozzarella at all. Really? Mine had so much cheese in them. Oh, mine, I, I like, I could see the cheese, but I couldn't taste the cheese. Literally just like dry rice balls. What? No. We were eating different things. I loved them. I thought you they were. You ate really the good. other half of mine. I know. I thought it was really good. I don't know. I didn't like it at all. Well, I did like it. I, I feel like it could have had, because like arancini, they weren't calling it arancini, but arancini usually has like, like sausage or something inside of it. Mm -hmm. So I think it could have benefited from having like a little meat or some other flavor in it. But I still really liked it just how it was. Yeah. Dip it in a little marinara. It was delicious. So I had the chicken parmesan. The chicken was delicious. Lots of cheese on it. Parmesan, amazing. Lots of chicken, but the noodles and the like pomodoro sauce, not my favorite. Well, he doesn't really like noodles. Though. I don't really like noodles. They're like <laughs> super thick uh, spaghetti noodles. Well, we took it home so I could eat them for lunch. Yeah. So I'll eat them. But we actually met Emily while we were there and she recommended that to you. Yeah. So it was a good recommendation. It was you delicious. love the chicken. Yeah. And then the dessert, what do we have? We had, it was called the like primo cake or something like that, right? Oh, it was the Paradiso, Paradiso chocolate cake. It was, it was good. so good. That was really good. It was real. no, it really was. It was like chocolate, like a really moist chocolate cake with chocolate ganache and like a toffee well, crumble. Well, like, like Heath bars, like crushed up Heath bars. Yeah, that's toffee. Yeah, I know. But it was just like an easier way of describing toffee. Well, you guys know what toffee is. <laughs> But it was so good. Yeah, I, I thought loved it was it. really good. And I don't really like toffee. It was delicious. It was, it was delicious. more chocolate cake than it was toffee. But I would definitely go back there for sure. Oh, yeah. I want to try their like lunch because they do like pizzas and calzones and like sandwich type stuff. They have like a happy hour that's supposed to be the best at Disney Springs. Yeah, the bar outside was like really hopping. We had all in all, I mean, we had a really great night. Yeah. I thought it was really awesome. We got yeah. to do lots of fun stuff at Uniqlo, which... They just have like super inexpensive clothes, which mm -hmm. are like great quality because we wear them all the time. Like your shirt is from Uniqlo. Yeah. Jackson was wearing his Uniqlo outfit before we had to change him. So it was a fun night at Disney Springs. Yeah. So all, like you said, all in all, fun night, Disney Springs. And with, <laughs> I don't know why, for whatever reason, when we're like ending a video, I have to like say all in all. I think it's like a, like a thing that you have to do. I just have to say all in all, it was a fun night. And if you don't say it, you like get mad. Yeah. 
I didn't get mad. Well, I just you're like, like <laughs> one time I said it before you, and you're like, you. Now I can't say it. Right. Well, because it's like, <laughs> it's like a like a Pavlovian thing. What is that? Like Pavlov's dog, when they ring the bell, then they know there's getting food. Oh. So like, I know that the end of the video is coming, so I have to say these things. Okay. So all in all, it was a fun night. <laughs> and with that being said, we are off, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.